What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel and another video that I want to share with you today. But first, if you haven't already, be sure to check out the Twitch channel right here. Twitch.tv forward slash circle triangle squared. Right before we get into this video, be sure to tap that bell notification. And today I want to get right into it and show you guys what the most OP gun is in Warzone or Team Deathmatch. In my opinion, there are guns in the game that have great range and stability but are very slow. Then there's others that are really fast like the Mud Dropper and MP5. And the gun that I'm talking about is the MP7 and you guys will see it right here. This is my prototype Omega which comes in the purple tracer pack and there's a couple of things that you really have to change on this gun to get it right so i'm going to show you guys the best settings for the mp7 right now i'm going to go ahead here if you guys want to start with the mp7 if you don't have uh the prototype omega that's fine here you can see in my armory i have the prototype omega and then also the mud dropper but the omega is better they're both the mp7 just different settings i'm going to select that we're going to go here you do not need an optic for the MP7. I'm going to tell you guys the honest truth. The MP7 has the best iron sights of any gun in the game, period. I've been able to shoot people across the map in Team Deathmatch with the MP7. And it's just a flawless gun. I mean, in reality, I think it's the best gun in the game because it may not have the best range and it may not have the absolute best damage or fire rate but everything is so balanced in the middle that you really get a fantastic gun that does everything you want it to do there's really two setups here if you're going to be playing in team deathmatch hardcore or if you're going to just be playing your basic core team deathmatch you can have slightly different settings on the gun first off no optic let's get rid of that that's just a waste of a slot if you're going to be playing team deathmatch hardcore i recommend leaving it on compensator because you can see as you go through all the different settings, the only ones that are really worth anything is the compensator and the suppressor. You'll get a little bit of extra range out of the suppressor, but you lose accuracy and control. And let's face it, in hardcore, rarely do UAVs go up. It's not the same thing as playing your basic team deathmatch. You don't wanna mess with the barrel at all when you're playing team deathmatch, whether it's hardcore or core, just leave it as it is. Don't wanna waste the spot. You can leave the laser on, uh, when you're playing hardcore as far as the underbarrel is concerned the ranger four grip is going to give you better range and accuracy but it's going to compromise your mobility a little bit the operator four grip gives you more mobility but you lose a little bit of range and control i recommend the merc four grip for team deathmatch i use the one from the mud dropper that looks really cool or i could just use the regular merc four grip doesn't matter that's the best for hip firing with your five milliwatt laser especially if you're going to be playing team deathmatch we're going to go over here to the stifled grip tape that's what you're going to want on here for your grip this is going to allow you to aim down the sights faster and sprint to fire speed it is perfect for team deathmatch okay now that we got our under barrel on and we have our stipled grip tape compensator and five milliwatt laser you have a choice for ammunition perk stock or optic we already took the optic off we're not doing optic or barrel on this gun so you have to decide what you want to use for perk i don't recommend sleight of hand unless you really get into a panic and spray a lot of bullets which i don't recommend doing you're going to get 40 round magazines in this gun and if you're doing hardcore you can get three kills if you're really good at aiming even if you're a little sloppy you should be able to get two very easily i do recommend recon it's going to give you name plates further away but if you really need it you could do fmj or sleight of hand it really depends on your play style now you can put a stock on this gun to make it have a lot more mobility and that would be the forge tack ultralight however if you want more aiming accuracy and control the stalker is the way to go the close quarters is good for aiming down the site which is going to take away a little bit of your control and accuracy but if you're playing team deathmatch hardcore that's the one that i would recommend if you're going to go with a stock however i don't mess with the stock at all because the gun is pretty much perfect as it is so i go ahead and i put on recon this is going to be your best bet for team deathmatch hardcore this is the way you're going to want to set the gun up for tdm hardcore and that's how i love this gun now, if you're going to be playing your basic team deathmatch non-hardcore then you're going to want to put on the 60 round mags i picked the mud dropper but you can use default and you're going to have to replace something 
on your gun. And if you ask me which one I would replace, obviously I'm going to replace the recon because inside of regular core team deathmatch, you already have a mini map up all the time. So you don't need to waste a perk on recon. So this would be the ideal setup for your basic team deathmatch. Now for anybody who's wanting to set this gun up for Warzone, there are multiple ways you can do that, but the way that I typically do is I have two choices. If I'm going to have my Grau or my CR-56 or something like that, and I'm gonna get two loadouts, I leave it exactly like it is. However, if I wanna use this as my primary gun and use a melee weapon or a set of pistols, or I just wanna rely on only getting one loadout, which in another video I'm going to do, I'm gonna talk about having a duplicate of your loadouts so that you can have one set up for range and one set up like this. If you really wanna set up this gun for range, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the FSS Recon and we're gonna put that on. And of course, we're going to take off the extended mags for now. Now, because you're gonna be doing this in Warzone, you're gonna to wanna to be silenced, not give your position. Now we're gonna move on to the laser. We're gonna take that off. We don't want anybody to see that in Warzone. We're gonna go over to an optic. There is definitely a lot of different options here and you're pretty much gonna to have to choose what works best for you. I like the VLK optic. It's really, really good. I'm gonna recommend to go with the VLK optic, which is what I really love on this gun. I really do. This gun right now is already starting to look like it should for Warzone. Now moving on to the underbarrel. I totally recommend getting the Merc 4 grip off if you're good at hip firing, especially if you don't need a laser. And because there's no five milliwatt laser on here, we're gonna get the Merc 4 grip off. Now, the Commando 4 grip is an option because it's got a little bit better range and control, which means better stability. You're losing a little bit of accuracy on hip firing, but that's okay. You have that as an option. The TAC 4 grip is also good because it gives you a lot of control, but you lose some accuracy. So you have to really Really decide what works best for you. I highly recommend the Ranger 4 grip. You can see that it gives you slight advantage in control and stability and a slight advantage in range. You're only losing your mobility and your accuracy and that accuracy is coming from hip fire and the mobility is going to slow you down because you're not going to be as good at hip firing so you're going to have to aim down the sights. So those are the reasons why you're losing accuracy and mobility which is exactly what you want considering you put the extended barrel on and of course the optics. So that's really what you're looking for and if you look at the operator for a grip you're actually losing pretty much everything except a smidge in mobility and range so the ranger for a grip is the way to go and now we move on to the rear grip if we look at the rubberized grip you're going to get accuracy only not worth it granulated grip tape is good because it lets you control the gun more decent amount of stability and a little bit of a jump in accuracy however you lose your mobility and your aim walking speed movement it's also going to take away the benefit of the stipled grip tape which is sprint to fire speed aim down the sight speed now this gun already has great accuracy and control which is stability so we don't really need to add too much more because we've already added the scope and other things to give it more control more range we really want to keep some mobility on this gun and being able to aim down the sights faster and sprint to fire speed is really going to help you you can go ahead and add the granulated grip tape at any time if you want that extra control and accuracy if you don't need the mobility of being able to run around and aim down the sights really fast, but I recommend leaving the stifled grip tape. Well, the magazine in this gun is already good. You're gonna get 40 round magazines. You don't need 50 or 60. This is how I would recommend setting up the gun for Warzone. There's a lot of guns in Modern Warfare that are really good. Some have better range, others have better stability. Then you've got the guns that have more mobility. I find that the balance in the prototype Omega or the MP7 is pretty much the best all around. You can see that I'm able to quick scope them in the head rather quickly because of the fact the aim down the sight speed perk is on with the stipend grip tape. But not only that, the stability and range is also good due to the optics and the extended barrel. And you'll see that it doesn't matter if I'm hip firing, sliding, aiming down the sights, if they're close, if they're far, it's very accurate and stable and the gun just performs flawlessly. This is truly the best all-around gun for Team Deathmatch or, of course, Warzone. I'm just sliding around, quick aiming at the heads, getting shots. They're not spraying all over the place, and that's because this gun is well controlled. I feel that with all the new guns that have come out in the different seasons in Modern Warfare, that the MP7 is kind of overlooked, and that shouldn't be the case because 
it truly is an easy gun to use, yielding great results. You're going to find that when you use this gun, it's going to improve your gameplay and it's going to improve your kill-death ratio. I remember the first time I picked up the MP7, I was blown away by its mobility, accuracy, and stability, and it truly helped me out. I've even converted my friends to using the MP7. In fact, if you watch any of my live streams on YouTube or Twitch, you'll know that I have a friend called Blitzshot or Blitz, and I converted him from using assault rifles only to the MP7, and now he loves the gun so much that whether he's playing Team Deathmatch or Warzone, he will only use the MP7. It truly is a remarkable gun, and you definitely have to give it a shot if you haven't used it already. And if you really want to step up your game, you can head over to the Call of Duty store and pick up the Purple Tracer Pack, which comes with the Prototype Alpha, which is the Grau, and the Prototype Omega, which is the MP7. Not only is the MP7 one of the best guns in the game, but with the Purple Tracer Pack, you're going to see where your bullets are going, and it's going to help you improve your accuracy. But not only that, it's also pretty cool shooting your enemies into oblivion with the purple tracer rounds. It's kind of like bragging rights, if you ask me, that you've got this really great gun with an awesome skin and these flashy purple rounds because, hey, let's face it, the gun performs great. It's only going to be even better with the prototype Omega in the purple tracer pack. One piece of advice I want to give you guys is even though the gun is very fast at aiming down the sights, you want to make sure that you're pressing the fire button first. And the reason is the gun will not be able to aim down the sights completely faster than you can hip fire. So you want to go ahead and hip fire and then aim down the sights and sometimes you won't even need to aim. You'll just have to hip fire because of the fact that you have the 5 milliwatt laser like I showed you how to set it up for your team deathmatch core or hardcore. With the tips that I've given you guys and the way I've showed you how to set up this gun, it's really going to help you improve your kill death ratio in team deathmatch and not only that, it's really going to help you out in war zone to get the best results possible. I love sliding or jumping or just swinging around corners with the MP7 because it fires incredibly fast, so you're not going to be missing any shots. I just love popping out of nowhere like this and just shooting and mowing people down. Well, guys, as you can see, this gun is really just flawless. It is so fast. It doesn't matter if it's iron sights or if you're aiming through the scope. The gun is very controlled and stable, and it puts out decent damage and range. It has so much mobility. If you take off the stock and add on the option for no stock like the mud dropper has, it is even faster for Team Deathmatch. Overall, I think this is pretty much the best gun you can get for Team Deathmatch or Warzone. It makes a great primary with some range like we have it set up here, or you can set it with iron sights as a backup gun in Warzone or your primary in Team Deathmatch. The MP7 is a gun that you definitely don't want to overlook, guys. It is just amazing to use in Call of Duty. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. Be sure to check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash circle triangle squared. Be sure to tap the bell notification. Thanks so much, guys, for stopping in and watching this video. I appreciate it. Share this video with everyone as well as the channel. See you on the next upload. Be safe out there. Take care. Have a great day, and I will see all of you on the next upload or stream. Peace.